All right, welcome back to the video. Um, today I'm gonna go over the skyline. I've gotten quite a few new parts. God damn, there's something in my eye. I've gotten quite a few parts in, and here's one of them. Right here I have my Dock Race Twin Scroll Manifold. Huge, huge shout out to them. Um, this thing is gorgeous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some like nice videoing right now to show this, and then I'm gonna go over my intake manifold, my ISR one, uh, kind of show you how to put that together. So since I did get my new manifold, I have no use for the stock intercooler piping and the stock manifold and the stock turbo. So I'm gonna take all that off and see how everything looks. Right now I just have the uh, intake manifold on with a couple bolts to see how it looked. But <clears throat> the fitment on this is honestly amazing. The only thing I had to do was back there on the, uh, on that line, I had to, I had to just bend this over just a tiny bit, but other than that, it went right on. Uh, no complaints, and it's super shiny. It kind of freshens up the engine bay. Also, uh, I got my intercooler mounted. Uh, I kind of want to lower it a little bit just so that the the M is centered in the grill right here. So how I did that is I went off the stock crash bar right here. I'm just gonna get a longer bolt and kind of space this down to bring that down and then I'll make a mount off of the bottom. There's two uh, welded on nuts on the bottom of the intercooler. So I'll make a bracket that comes down. But today I'm gonna focus on getting all this junk out and putting all that goodness on. In about uh, last week, or yeah, about a week ago, I ordered my comp turbo. I got the 6267 twin scroll, obviously, and that should be done in about a week. So I just wanna have everything mounted so that when that does come in, I can put that on and then we can start the intercooler piping, start doing the exhaust. There are still quite a few things I'm gonna need, like I need to get injectors, I'm gonna need to have it tuned, and I'm still still questioning on if I should do the, uh, the head gasket because on the last drive that actually started this whole process, um, a coolant line popped and I drove all the way home while it was pretty hot. So I know these motors can be kind of temperamental. I don't know if, <clears throat> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna get everything done and then see how it does or if I should just take the time right now and pull the head off and maybe do some head work. But I just, I just wanna see all the new parts because obviously they're gonna get changed anyway. So if I'm gonna do the head, it's not gonna be too much. I mean, it's gonna be more money, but it is what it is, right? You gotta pay to play. So, oh, I also need a new throttle cable for the intake manifold. But right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this manifold off and kind of show you guys uh, the quality of it. And I'm gonna do some like cinematography shots of the manifold all put together and the dock race. And then we'll start on the uh, taking off everything. So I'll be right back. Well, not really, but in like one second, you guys will see this. Boop. Okay, so just got the intake manifold off. I'm gonna kind of go over how I put it together and what I did. So in the kit, it comes with four coolant lines right here. It's pretty self-explanatory. The longest one goes towards the rear and then shorter one and then the shorter and then the shorter one. Comes with this nice bracket right here that uh, with an Allen head hardware. And then you put the head bolt or the uh, intake manifold bolt through this to hold this bracket up. Temp sensor, uh, basically there's four right here. Uh, it goes four to one because this goes from, from here because all these ports right here all these ports right here are coolant ports. So obviously you need to keep cool. So those four that I just showed you go into one, ends up about right here. Put a line to your radiator, that's all done. And then, oh and there's, uh, in the kit it comes with a idler control valve block off plate or you can utilize this one. So I'm gonna use that one. Also comes with the four vacuum ports. We'll see which ones I'm gonna use from that. ISR fuel rail. Very nice. All this was very, like, very easy to put together. Uh, didn't come with instructions, but you can kind of figure it all out. There's a spacer right here that goes into the intake manifold, like the, the flange. Comes up, and then there's a little 90 right here. You just screw the fuel rail to the 90 and put it down. We got in lines on each side for fuel return and feed, and yeah. That's basically it. I'm gonna go over this now. This is a dock race, twin scroll manifold. And what twin scroll is basically, um, 
you want twin scroll for faster spooling, but what that does is the front three exhaust ports go right here to one, and then the back three go three to one. So basically you're not building from six to one, it's three to one and three to one. That's why you have to run dual wastegates. I'm gonna be running the Tile 38 uh, MVS and with that comp turbo I was talking about. And that's basically it. I'm gonna kinda give you some uh, good pictures or good video of this stuff right now and start taking off the other stuff. Alright, so got all the intercooler piping off, injects off, heat shields off. It is hot as shit right now, so sorry if I'm a little winded or, you know, a little sweaty. It's okay, alright? But now, um, I'm gonna take the downpipe off off. Downpipe off. Down. I'm gonna take the downpipe off, uh, take the turbo off, take the turbo manifold off. Test fit this shit. I mean, not shit. This gold. Test fit this gold. Holy shit, it's really hot. I think I'm kind of delusional, but... See you in a minute. All right, so Billy came by in the middle of the time lapse. So right. Billy. Billy's cool. That's you could like. That's his car over there. Those are my old wheels. I like. I built that car. Yeah, it's cool, huh, Billy? Do you like it? That's ugly. All right. Well. The Dock Race manifold is on. My comp turbo should be here in about a week. And then after that happens, it's just a lot of money. Just money here, money there. I'll keep updating you guys. It's Thank gonna you. be a ripper. Yeah? A hey, ripper. Say it, say it. What? Be a about ripper. it. ripper. Exactly. So like Billy said, she's gonna be a ripper, hopefully. Uh, she may blow up. She will blow up, actually. Big time fuck it. But thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you have any questions. Put them in the comments below. If you are familiar with RB stuff, tell me in the comments below. I'll get in contact with you, okay? You, you, you have a good day now, all right? Like, comment, and subscribe, bitch.